Dr. Ilana Gelman here, naturopathic doctor, and welcome back to my kitchen. I hope you guys are enjoying your day off. It's Memorial Day, and I'm still back in my kitchen doing the regular things that I do on Monday because it really sets me up for a great, healthy week. Now today, I'm so excited for this video. I have a surprise. I never have surprises for you, so this is really exciting for me. And before we go into the surprise and what we're going to talk about today is I want to apologize. I'm a woman of my word, and I say I make a weekly video every week, and last week I did not fulfill on that. I was so busy. I got wrapped up with one thing over another, and I didn't make a video, and I'm so sorry. There are so many of you guys now subscribing to my YouTube channel, following me, and I don't want to disappoint you because I love sharing this information. So thank you for accepting my apology, and I'm recommitting. I will have a video for you every week, and I look forward to continuing continuing sharing. So for this week, as promised, I'm going to talk about wheat. And there's so much hype with gluten-free products. There's so much hype with people avoiding wheat and not really knowing why. And I really want to share with you my experience and why I really do recommend this to patients. Now, from my experience, I've, I've avoided wheat for years now. And the biggest reason are twofold. First one is that I realized that I started craving wheat. So anytime I would have a slice of bread one day, the next day, I just needed it. Or I would have like a slice of the cake for like a birthday party and the next day, I just like couldn't think of anything else. I couldn't focus until I got another slice of cake. And I just didn't want that distraction anymore. I felt like that took too much energy just for that slice of cake and it just wasn't worth it to me. In addition, my weight kept on increasing and I'm like, why is this happening? I work out, I eat healthy. Why is this happening? And I just, I did an experiment and I took out wheat 100%. My weight went down, it stabilized, and I don't, I no longer have those cravings. My energy is peaked, I feel so much better, and now it's not even tempting because I've learned so much information about wheat. Now, one of the books that I've learned a lot about is this book called Wheat Belly. And I love this book and I wanna share a couple quotes because this really helped empower me to just avoid it completely because it wasn't worth it. First thing that I, I note here is that he, um, it's a cardiologist who wrote this, Dr. Davis. He says, eating two slices of whole wheat bread is just as bad as drinking a can of sugar sweetened soda or eating a sugary candy bar. No wonder why I was gaining weight. Eating two slices of whole grain bread is the same as me drinking soda in a candy bar? What? That does the same thing for my blood sugar. It increases my insulin, puts weight on. I'm not interested in that. Then he also talks about the addictive properties of wheat. So this confirms why I was having those cravings. He talks about how some of the molecules in modern day wheat crosses the blood brain barrier and it binds to your morphin-like receptors. It's the same receptors that our opiate drugs bind to. It has a drug-like effect in my brain. Oh, goodness. It talks about how these exorphins actually stimulate appetite, so you get more hungry because of these molecules. And then it leaves us addicted. You just want more, you want more, and you want more. They call them gluteomorphins, like that, that gluten compound of wheat acts like the morphine receptor, uh, combined to those morphine receptors. Oh, goodness. I just don't like that at all. Now, I love empowering myself with knowledge. There's no way that I have that discipline <laughs> to just avoid things without really getting into the science of it all. And you may be this you may be the same. Now my surprise that I have for you is I'm so excited because I get to learn so much information from these like info pack summaries that I, I've discovered that are out there in life. Um, I, I contacted the, the creator who have made these info pack summaries of the top health books out on the market. She did 50 health books. I have just, like I've got books and books piled up on my shelf and I just don't have the time to read them. I'm so busy that I get to read them in these pack summaries and I've talked to the creator of them Susan Mark she's just amazing she's become now a friend of mine and she's allowed me to give you guys for free wheat belly because I'm so passionate about giving information about wheat belly so if you put your email down below there's a little um, thing that you can enter your email down below here put your email in now because I don't know how long she's gonna give me access to giving this um, wheat belly for free but it's a whole summary. It's an amazing summary, chapter by chapter, of Wheat Belly, of this book. And you, it breaks it down. It makes it so much easier for you to understand why it's important for you to start avoiding wheat, or at least give you the education to just choose. Choose if you think it's the right thing for you and for your family. It definitely convinced me, and I would love to share this information with you. So put your email down below, and you can get your own free copy of the health note. 
And not only is it in a PDF, it's a 10 page summary. She also does audio. So I cook and I listen to the audio. I listened to it before I made this video because I like the reminder. I listen to it in my car when I'm getting ready. I've gone through so many books now and I love it. I'm thrilled to be able to offer a free version to you guys and then you can always just learn more about it because it's it's amazing information i love susan for doing this i've given this to so many of my patients i've given this for gifts for presents it's amazing way to get a lot of health knowledge really quickly when especially when we don't have the time so i just i'm thrilled about it i, I cannot recommend it highly enough all right, so what do I use for wheat substitutes? I want to give you guys information on some of the stuff I cooked this week. So one of the first things that was on my menu are bison burgers. I made enough for the week for two of us. And in the bison burgers, I put mint and ginger and lemon. Now, I don't eat the bun because I don't use wheat. So what I do instead is I can make like portobello mushroom, like patties. That's a really nice thing. Um, I roasted some yams and squash, and I could just put those on the bottom and eat it with like a fork or a knife. Or I use lettuce, like I've got a, so much lettuce and you can wrap up your burgers and eat it and just avoid all the wheat that way, I love that. Another thing that I made is like a really hearty pasta sauce. I have like a turkey, um, ground turkey, I've got all the zucchini and carrots and onions and instead of putting it over pasta, I would use either, excuse me, excuse me, I would use either spaghetti squash or I would even just eat it just like that because I love it. Now there are some gluten-free pastas out there and there's a lot of gluten-free products but if you do read this book the wheat belly and you get the health note that's free you could just put your email down below you'll learn how gluten-free products can even still increase your weight and spike your insulin and your sugar i avoid all even gluten-free products if it's a gluten-free bread or some of the gluten-free pastas like if it's just like a quinoa or brown rice pasta is okay but read this book and or if you don't have the time at least read the health note because it's loaded with information how to make sure that you stabilize your weight and you and you know all the ins and outs of of wheat and gluten-free products oh, i just love this book i can't recommend it enough what else did I make? Um, I've got a crock pot, so I've already had my vegetables already diced up. I'm gonna, um, I'm marinating like a, a chicken with this like cilantro pesto that I made from last week. It's gonna be delicious. And I'm gonna add the kale at the end of a crock pot. I'm gonna make a whole video just on how to do crock pots, so I'll give you some more tips then. I have my artichokes for the week. I love artichokes, I'm on a big kick. I have roasted um, broccoli and cauliflower and some shredded Brussels sprouts. Um, I've got my yams. I made some hard-boiled eggs this week. Um, what else do I have in the fridge? I think I have like a whole big salad I've just already chopped up because it just makes it easy to put it together. I've got my avocados. So, oh, nori wraps. Please, I don't want to forget this. I've talked about this before. I never use whole wheat like tortillas. Once in a while, I'll use corn tortillas as like a treat. I'll do fish tacos. I love that. But for the most part, when I'm cooking at home, I use nori wraps, the seaweed. Not only are they really nutritious for you, but it's a great alternative to the wheat tortillas. I can wrap turkey and avocado in here. I can wrap like a tuna salad or, or wild salmon salad and wrap it up in a nori wrap and then eat it on the go. Oh, it's delicious. And I've turned on so many patients and friends to this. They love it. So I really want to share that with you. So that wraps it up with wheat. I couldn't recommend it more to get your free health note. Start getting empowered and educated with why wheat is, is, is detrimental to your health. I recommend a lot, most of my patients to avoid it, especially when they have imbalances and struggles in their health. But this, I mean, just to sign up below and get this info pack summary will give you all the information that you really need to make a really educated choice. And I can't recommend it enough. So I love giving surprises. I love empowering you with health information. Anytime I discover something that is just helping me and helping my patients, I love to share it on these videos. So with that said, I hope that you do go ahead and read those health notes and give me some feedback. Let me know what you think about them. I just absolutely love them. And I don't know how long I'm going to be able to give them to you for free. So go ahead and sign up now so you can at least get your copy. And that wraps it up, essentially. I have all my stuff for this week. Gave you all the information that I can for today. There's so much more information in here. So go ahead and sign up now. And I look forward to sharing more next week. I promise I'll do a video. And I hope you guys have a great week and a great day off. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>